tell me, is there some sort of meaning behind the choice, or is it just there to add to your charm? Oh, yes, absolutely, yes. <laughs> Which is it? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> Which is it? I'm curious. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Both it is very, very interesting. Hey there, folks. Welcome to Forge of Lore, where we tell stories through Dungeons and Dragons. You know, we're still working on getting ready for recording these episodes live on Twitch, but in the meantime, you know, I've been randomly jumping on Twitch to build in Tailspire. It's been fun hanging out with you guys there, building some maps, talking D&D &D and some other things. So be sure to follow us over at twitch.tv slash forgeoflore so you know when I go live. Come hang out, won't you? But right now, it's time to play some D&D. &D. Roll it. Do you guys remember when you trudged through the Beother Forest in Alfheim? Sidric produced a giant goat. Gendry squared off with said giant goat. Marcus suggested eating said giant goat. And Nifrom wore a dress. Well, it's been a long road since Ragnarok, when the giant robot that stood unmoving over the Muspelheim capital city of Jotunfoder activated and leveled the entire city. Since then, you've discovered that it was a false flag operation carried out by a mysterious group known as the Munadir, or those who would be remembered. By framing the southern continent of Ulfheim, the Munadir started a war between the nations after years of peace. Why? That's what you're determined to find out. With the help of an assassin's guild, the Silence Fate, you were smuggled into a raiding party so you could travel to Alfheim to investigate if Nifrom's father, Einar, is involved with the Munadir. You found the name of his company, Colburn Technological Reclamation, or CTR for short, on some documents from a known Munadir member, Eggard Haynes. After escaping the raid into the Beother Forest, you headed east toward Nifrom's family home. You expected to arrive shortly, stopping to prepare for the family reunion, when you found yourselves suddenly surrounded. And that, my friends, is where our story continues. So, as I mentioned, you are talking in this forest, Nifrom having just changed, uh, a couple of you changed clothing, uh, preparing for the meeting, when you heard rustling all around you in the bushes. Then you heard uh, someone uh, toward the east yell, Halt! You've crossed into CTR territory! I've already called in for backup. I'd prefer you surrender now, as it's such a hassle to question dead people. Then as you turn around to see who's talking, you see a dwarf, probably figure in his 40s, black, short, curly mohawk. Uh, and leather armor that's covered in leaves and branches, letting them blend perfectly into the forest. As you look around, you see more come out of the bushes around you. You are, in fact, surrounded by these sneaky people. I'm going to cross my arms and look at them, or look at the one who spoke, and be like, I'm sorry, is that any way to treat a Colburn? He kinda looks around, looks back at you. <laughs> a Colburn? Well, if you were a Colburn, I suppose it wouldn't, but I don't know you, and I know the Colburns. You know the Colburns, then you know they're missing a daughter. Bullshit. I don't know what you're talking about. What's your name? I'm going to take um, from underneath the collar of my dress. There's a silver chain and hanging across the bottom of it is the form of a gear. 
and it's the the uh, Colburn family crest, and I'm going to say, my name is Nifrim Colburn, and I would like to see my family. Nifrim? I've never heard of you. Any of you boys ever heard of a Nifrim? And he looks around, and all of them kind of, you hear a couple <laughs> chuckles from the guards surrounding you, all weapons trained on you, uh, bows and crossbows. Uh, you see swords and um, axes slung to their backs. Sorry, darling. No one's ever heard of you. Stay right there. And he lifts his uh, his wrist to his face. And you see a wristband. A small, Ooh. almost like, it's like a watch. Um, but you don't know what a watch is. Sure. Uh, but it's just a band, and he lifts it to his mouth and says, Forest Team 9 to Colbernheim, requesting status on reinforcements in Sector Now the 7. One of the individuals claims to be a Colburn. Please advise. And he kind of holds it up to his ear, stares at you. Affirmative, sir. Said her name's Nifram. Seems like a crock of shite to me. Holds it back uh, to his ear. This is the part where he's calling his manager. <laughs> Oh. Uh, well, we did ask him to call for a manager, so... Yes, sir. Huh. And he, like, looks incredulously at Nifram. Is that so? Affirmative, sir. We'll comply. Trimmel out. I think you uh, need lowers an the band now. And lifts... I think, I, I think we're all dead. <laughs> lifts his crossbow uh, trained on you guys and says... All right, let's just all sit tight here, shall we? I'd advise against any funny business or we'll deliver you in pieces. That's all right with you. <laughs> That's what a lot of other people oh, said. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I'm hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he is. I'm sure you are, right? <laughs> um, Now's not the time. Yes, all right, next. here's this. How about this? I want to speak to my father. And I am going to ask you to take us there immediately. And in exchange for your agreement and your support, I will give you my bow and we will go in peace to my father. That's a mighty fine arrangement and deal you have there, darling. But just hold tight a moment. I'm sorry, do you, and he do you kind know Knox? Of and he kind of looks around. As you say that, he kind of chuckles and starts looking around the clearing. And then you see him kind of find what he's looking for and then holds up his hand pointing at a... You, you look to see what he's pointing at, and it's a large tree. And there's a guard standing in front of the tree with his bow trained on you. And he mm -hmm. kind of looks to apparently Trimmel. He identified himself. Uh, looks back behind him at the tree and then kind of moves out of the way, still, like, bow still trained on you guys. And he just stands there, pointing. Oh, for fuck's sake, hurry up, my arm is tired! And after a few seconds of just everyone sitting still, nothing happening, suddenly... You, a glowing line traces down the trunk of the tree. As it reaches the wow. bottom, it starts splitting open. You hear like wood, wood bending and breaking. <laughs> it reveals a blurry portal. You can sort of see through it to an open field with structures in the background. And through the portal steps a very large orc man. Do I recognize this man? Niff, you recognize him. He steps out and looks around and z zeroes in immediately on you, Niff, and says, Nifrum, is that you? I can't believe you're back. <laughs> and as the portal closes behind him. Excuse me. Um, she's gonna she's gonna walk up to him. Nox. He he meets you halfway and holds out his arms for a hug. I'm going to go in for a hug. He hugs you. Uh, whole, once he's done hugging, he kind of pulls you back and holds you at arm's length and puts your, his hands 
on your your like cheeks and does kind of one of these like you know taking a look at you and like <laughs> says you haven't changed a bit he Can then I like he then yeah he Can then we get him? <laughs> <laughs> sure. he then like as soon as he's kind of done doing that he he glances over at tremble and gives a very subtle nod at which point everyone lowers their weapons I'm sorry about all that hubbub. We have a lot of new faces in the troops. At this point, most of them don't even know you exist. Oh, well, it's been almost ten years. It's expected, really. I mean, this is a bit extravagant, uh, but... Yeah, uh, uh, quite a bit has changed around here. Um, he, He's... Again, very large, dark green skin, very large tusks, hence the speech impediment. He's wearing fine plate armor with the insignia of a gear wrapped in the roots of a giant tree. The same insignia that Nephrim has on her necklace. Two long swords are sheathed on his back. Nephrim, you've seen him use both at the same time. Nice. Yeah, a lot has changed around here. I'm so sorry about that. If, oh, um, nothing to apologize for. Diligent guards. Of course, they're just doing their job. Your mother is going to be so pleased, as well as your siblings. Who won't stop talking about you to me, the little bugger. I buggers. can't wait to meet her. <laughs> Let's get to it then. Let's head back. He turns. Trimmel, I've got this under control. Resume your patrol. Trimmel reply, nods and says, Aff Affirmative, sir. He turns to the guards and circles his finger in the air. They immediately start slipping back into the forest, disappearing into the bushes. You even hear even more movement up in the canopy that you didn't hear before. Turns out you were surrounded on th in three dimensions. Sure. Eh. The house is yeah, in three dimensions too. a bit tense now, but I feel your return will lighten the mood considerably. Let's you go. You think so? I hope so. And who here are your friends? Yes, um, this is They're Gentry. They're coming along. Gentry, pleasure. My name yes. is Knox. Hello, yes, pleasure. This is Marcus. He kind of cocks a head at you. Hand, hand, hand shaketh. That's what we do in my neck of the woods. He, yes. he grabs your hand Hello. and almost breaks it with his Ouchies. grip. Easy Ow, knocks. Ouch. Sorry. Oh, I only have myself <laughs> to blame. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And this is Cedric as well. Cedric, you're uh, quite the large yes, one. Yes, I'm, I'm, I actually go by Bendry now. How are Bendry? You? Well, it's a pleasure. Yes. Pleasure mm. to meet you. You've yes. got a strong grip. Yes, that's what my mommy says. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the armored <laughs> fellow over here. A lot of other things. This is Marcus. Marcus, pleasure to Hail. meet you. The name's Knox. It's I, going for a I like your, yeah. your digs there. That's some fine armor. Where did you find it? So is yours. Well, thank oh, you. Oh, okay. About, <laughs> I bought it. Excellent. Uh, Mine was given. <laughs> but I kiss, kiss, kiss each other already. And the um, uh, maybe later. The two oh, um right, right. <laughs> two <laughs> smaller gentlemen here. This here is Orvar, and this is Oscar. Oscar. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, oh, it's absolute pleasure. Good to meet you. Um, y'all seem. Nice. And then the last fellow here yeah. in the cloak. Um, I mean, I have to Herm take down his hood. Oh, my um, word. This is my newest construction. Really? And he yes. kind of slowly approaches and starts like gets uh, if it were a person, it would be uncomfortably close. Just bing bong. Like inspecting he, he it goes by bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> That's fine construction work. And what a lovely find you. You enchanted this yourself. You could say that, yes. Very impressive. You've uh, <laughs> learned a lot while you're away. Oh, yes, I cannot wait to tell you of my travels. It's been I can't wait to hear. Amazing. All right, well, we should start heading there soon. Uh, yes. uh now, um dinner, 
should get home in time for dinner. That'd be lovely. Fantastic. All right, follow me. And he starts leading you guys through the forest. I believe I am still wearing um, I the two I... shirt that says I love Thor. Yeah, the I, I Mjolnir Thor. Thor. Is that canon? It's like, it's like a belly, yeah, it's sure. like a belly shirt. <laughs> it's embroidered belly shirt. <laughs> <laughs> So as you're uh, as you're as you're walking, <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> I, I imagine Nifa, are you kind of walking alongside uh, Knox? Yes. So what have you been up to, Nif? Did you find what you were looking for out there? Oh, there's so much to look for. I mean, it's hard to say whether I found it or not, but I found a lot. It's been an interesting couple of months with. Um, these very strange individuals behind me, um, but they're they're quite incredible people. I think you'll Hello. find. <laughs> he kind of leans in closer to you. Who are these? Are these friends of yours, or yes, I, you what's know, the sort I, of relationship? So. Um, well, we're they're all kind of adventurers, and we're all kind of united by a a strange connection that's hard yeah, to explain. Uh, I, I, I was going to say a, a bond, if you will. God damn it. God Fuck damn you. it, Eric. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> damn. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I am shaken by that. Fuck you. Oh, not fuck you. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. Riding your own saga, I see. Good for oh, yes. you. Honestly, I wish more of the family <laughs> was able to explore beyond the ground. They're doing some good. Well. Give them yes. some perspective. <laughs> yes. Well, Jinx, <laughs> you owe each other a beverage. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is going to be so excited that you're back. And um, how how is um father doing lately? Kind of size. <sighs> I don't know. He doesn't confide in me like he used to. Yeah. He seems distressed. I'm sure it has to do with work and the company, but honestly, I worry about him sometimes. Well, he was always one to fight his battles alone, that's for sure. Indeed. And, um... That hasn't changed much. Although, of course, he's taken Erling more under his wing, and Hearth yeah, has so been doing a lot more. I was going to ask how Erling is doing. Is, is he here? Your brother is out on assignment. No telling when he'll be home. It's been a That's while now. Unfortunate. I was hoping to see him. Very. However, I know he'll be happy to know you've returned either way. I'm sure he'll be able to join eventually. I mean, um, maybe. I, I don't know. I haven't heard from him in quite some time. I haven't either, but that's nothing new. You know, um... I'm sure his jobs take him around a lot. Your father sends him all over the globe. I don't oh, know he whatever he, what he does. Yes, multiple times. I oh. mean, although... Not lately. He's, as far as I know, in all time, I can't imagine it would be easy to cross. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he's been on assignment for a while, but he should be back soon, I imagine. I hope he's safe. So you guys, he leads you through the uh, forest after a while as the trees start thinning out you start to see the edge of the tree line through the trees um beyond the trees you see a glimpse of a village uh fields multiple buildings all that as you approach the tree line and get closer Knox lifts up his wrist where he has a wristband as well and says Knox to perimeter eight friendlies emerging from the west tree line hold your fire all right let's go and 
as you emerge from the forest, you realize that it's not a small village ahead of you. It's an enormous estate, larger than any village any of you have visited. King. At the center stands a structure as big as most castles. As you head kind of towards the structures, you come up to a uh, what appears to be a very large stable area in Cart House. Uh, you see the pas- fenced-in pasture behind with uh, many very fine horses grazing. You see a uh, thrall brushing the mane of a very large workhorse. Um, there are people. There are fields where- with people working in them. There's. It's practically a small village. And you head past the stable area to the main building. So let's take a look. Emmy, of course, built her beautiful home here. Like I said, larger than most castles you've seen. An enormous neat building. Very elegant, fine craftsmanship. Decorated with gold all over. Large archways, big spires, several what seem to be gazebos up on the rooftop. A couple balconies, some patios, luscious vegetate, lush vegetation um, surrounding the estate. You see a couple people kind of tending to the yard. Um, another thing you guys notice a very heavy guard presence. The walkway is lined with guards as you approach the front door. Nox kind of grins big and turns to uh, Nifrim and says, Welcome home, Nifrim. Good to have you here. Good to be back. (laughs) So, as you guys, as he kind of leads you up to the large front doors, the, uh, they open pretty much automatically for you. Real real Um, quick. Yeah. Um, I want to, I want to kind of like nervously look around to my companions and try to gauge Mm -hmm. their reactions. How's everyone reacting? Yeah. Mild amusement. <laughs> Mild? It's the mean, largest like, structure yeah. you've ever seen. I saw the Yoden, so... Ah! <laughs> true, true. Or just domicile you've ever seen. Yeah. It's, you know, even if I am, like, more than mildly amused, I'm going to hide it. <laughs> By just not taking off my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> How's Cideric reacting? I'm honestly, uh, same old Cideric over here. He's just hoping that the kitchen is just as big. Oh, it is a big kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and how does Gendry look? Is he revealing any sort of reaction? Um, Gen- Gendry is dead faced, completely, 100% dead. When when Niff looks back, I'm like, <laughs> thumbs up. Good <laughs> job, you. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my sweaty palms on my dress and um, <laughs> move forward. All right. So inside, uh, what uh, color is the dress? A very very dark purple. Oh, the, the sweat With wouldn't gold. really show all that much. What nope. style dress? Um, it's kind of simplistic um got one of those uh what is that called sweetheart necklines i can't remember what that's called yeah v-neck yeah sure we'll go with that (laughs) and it's like trimmed in like this crazy golden thread 
and um, ribbons on the hem of the skirt. Um, what kind of cut? <laughs> fucking mermaid. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Josh, why do you know so much? <laughs> Never mind. Don't want to know. Um, <laughs> so, uh, as you oh, head inside, <laughs> it, the main door, going through the main doors, leads you into the atrium. And as elegant and elaborate as the outside was, the inside is doubly so. As you walk into the flame lit atrium, you see immediately in front of you a very sizable statue that is actually relatively familiar in that it's a mechanical horse. But this one has wings on it and is rearing back. You we, see. we saw something similar in Eggard's. Yep. The and whole... without the wings, um, well, that I think was without the wings, but you also mm -hmm. saw one without the wings uh, on the Grainhofen docks, mm -hmm. as that is the horse that the horse that um, your father uses as kind of a calling card for his traveling kind of merchant carts. It's kind of his signature. I wonder if he'd give us one of those. <sighs> we'll see. The opulence great. of this place is troubling. Many poor people could be fed with this. What is what is opulence? That's, you? that's very wow. Opulence. Opulence. What? What does opulence mean? Uh, uh, fancy. Wealth. We'll, we'll go with fancy. that. Ah. Valuable. <laughs> very, very good. <sighs> You see big marble columns reaching up to the very tall ceiling, a grand staircase behind the statue uh, with another small statue and altar behind the horse statue. Um, some doors to the left and right in the back left, um, all extremely elegant. This is some of the fanciest shit any of you have ever seen. Yes, Sniff. The statue is the visage of Hela, um, which seems to be a pretty dominant uh, theme around the house, as well as um, gears. You notice a lot of gears. A lot of gears adorning decorations all over, inside and outside. Gendry. Uh, so as far as security is concerned, inside, what does that look like? Just as heavy in here as it is out there. Every door ha is flanked by guards that look very well armored and uh, armed. Mm -hmm. They are all rather large and completely disciplined. You see them completely unmoving. Other than when the door opens, they look to they look to the door and then look back straight forward again. Um. It is quite impressive, the security um, uh, presence here. Hmm. Um, um, Kendry, um, can, uh, can you do me a favor? What's that? I know you can't promise much because you're, well, you're you, but um, mm. keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Got it? To my shelf. Yes, um, to your shelf. Ooh. Okay, so I can't touch anyone else's shelf. Or, or anyone else's belongings. You can touch my shelf if oh, you want. I, I was wondering how many of these things are nailed down. They definitely Maybe. will kill you on the spot. Just so you know. That's you might you might be the one that's nailed down. That's oh, interesting. God. Oh god. I mean, Shijuk. I didn't- no, I didn't mean it like that. Shijuk, you and I are gonna <laughs> talk Literally. <laughs> I didn't think you meant it like bad. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah, this begun. is where we go off to the rails. <laughs> I, was, I was going to ask, um, how, how has it always been this way? Uh, the security? Here? So, uh, Niff, the security, it's your dad's can be paranoid. He can be paranoid. Um, it's always had strict security and fairly heavy security, especially for a 
home. Um, it is at least three or four times heavier. Um, it it is a little more than what I remember, but it's been about a decade, so it seems his wealth has only grown, and so has his paranoia. There's also a war on. That too, of course. If you want to, you know, consider that, yes. Uh, from my from my perspective, uh, uh, this much security, you must be hiding something very valuable. Absolutely. So I'm just saying, uh, my stealing sense is uh, is tingling. You're going to have to tame yeah. that. Ooh. Uh, or mm. you're going to be splat. Mm, mm. Mm. Can we can we talk to your father for like let's just say like a minute or so? I'm just just wondering. Oh. We could maybe just a minute. It's not uh, a big deal. Uh, I assume it will be more than a minute. Yes. Um. That is excellent. Let's get to that part. <laughs> <laughs> Nif, um, as you were kind of looking around at security, give me uh, perception. Okay. Uh, oh, natural twenty for a twenty-five. Natural 20. Starting it off Perfect. right, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It's the last time I'll see that this session. <laughs> yeah. Woo! So, as you're kind of looking around the room at the increased security and kind of gauging it compared to what you remember uh, all those years ago, something catches your eye. Like, th this room, for the most part, is almost exactly as you remember it. But something catches your eye high up on the walls. And that is that the room seems to be littered with these little devices. And do we recognize you, those from Edgar? Y you recognize them from the hole. Um, where you fought Edgar. Just, just in a whisper. I'm going to say, mm -hmm. there are eyes everywhere, Gendry. Do you understand? Now, mind you, you don't know that those are eyes. You have oh. no reason to know what they are, oh, what they do. They you just recognize that oh. they were adorning the walls in the hole. Okay, so retcon, I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> is um, that guy with us still? The the Nox? yeah, he's kind oh, of oh. um, he he walks over and is talking to um a human uh who's standing kind of was over by the stairs and comes and meets him. The man, gentleman is in his 50s, has gray hair, slicked back, bushy eyebrows and mustache. Niff, you would actually recognize him as Wilton, the butler, uh, the ah. kind of head thrall. Do I catch his eye? Uh, he, he notices you as soon as you walk in and he kind of you see a warm smile and then Knox goes over and kind of talk, says a few things to him and he kind of nods. And as, um, as you watch, as you see that, you hear, uh, from the, uh, up the stairs. Nifrim, you're home! As you look up to see your mother, Ragna, walking down the stairs very excitedly and rushes over to you to hug. Oh, oh, hello! Um... She, She's going to walk over. Just wraps around you very excitedly and squeeze you almost too tight. Almost too tight. Very ecstatically. You guys see Nefram hugging her back, but kind of like doing one of those pats like, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> who, is, uh, who is this lovely lady? Um, <sighs> well, pleasure to meet you all. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Ragna. I am <laughs> Nifram's mother. Of course, we'll do formal introductions during dinner. I <sighs> assume you'll be joining. Never, oh, hello, you've never, delighted, you've never, delighted. You've, you've never yeah. said your mother was so beautiful. So I mean, I guess it's Ragna from somewhere. <laughs> is 
you, um... Cedric, knock it off. You do not try and seduce another Very tall and fit. <laughs> very gorgeous. Has long black hair braided... <laughs> braided intricately down her back all the way to her knees. Beautiful purple gown with golden embroidery. Golden straps in a corset fashion uh, down the front. As she, as she turns to you all. Yes, I hope you'll be joining us for dinner. Um, speaking of which, Wilton, who the, the man kind of, like, you know, head up. Please show our guests to the visitor premises so they can prepare for the meal. Kind of nods. Oh, I am, I am nodding. Very good, very good. <laughs> um, uh, is, is Oon around? Oh yes, yeah, she's she's uh in the in the classroom right now. She'll oh. she'll be joining shortly. Uh, everyone will be at dinner. It'll be lovely. Oh, oh okay. I... All right. <laughs> she's she'll be so happy to know you're here. I can't wait for you to meet her. Yes, yeah, Cedric. Uh, sorry, sorry to um bother you, Miss, but uh, I don't course. have clothes to wear to dinner. Kind of looks you up and down, kind of slowly measuring. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, we can easily have some some proper clothes sent to your rooms. The I, I appreciate premises. that. Um, not a problem at all. Um, our tailor is very good at eyeing. Um, we'll, we'll get you some proper clothes. No so, worry. Seems like so are you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Cedric, you old so and so. <laughs> Is it appropriate for me to wear armor to this dinner? He's sixteen. He doesn't really know much about social cues. I see. That's all right. We'll get you set up proper. All right. Don't you worry. <laughs> and uh, you, sir, regarding armor, I, I don't believe you'll be facing any. Brutes or warriors here. He just I think you're okay to that. take your armor off. I mean, sometimes he has trouble mm. eating, and uh, he needs like a shield for the food all over his body. <laughs> Ma Marcus, Marcus, do you I need see. me to to lend you some clothing? <laughs> um, everything I have says Thor is great on it, or some facsimile of that. So, so yes, very good, very good. <laughs> if you well, like, we can, we can have some care. proper clothes mm. sent. To your room as well. I'd like him to wear a shirt that says Thor sucks. I would, I would love to see what you all have here. Very good. I'm not going to do that. Oh God! Oh God! This was a terrible idea. Why are we doing this? Oh my God! Oh, oh, Nifrim, shush, shush, shush. I should not wait to have dinner with your mother. Oh, it's going to be a delight. I can't wait to have dinner with you all. You seem so fascinating. I can't wait to learn all about you. You seem absolutely delightful, ma'am. If you oh, yeah, man. do, I oh, dude, yeah, insight, yeah. I would like to roll insight. insight on that. Yeah, go ahead. Yo, I'll roll I'll, insight. Too. I'll help. So, fourteen. Somebody help who? Seventeen. <laughs> One of 14, you. I don't know. Seventeen. Anyone else? I got a sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, Cideric apps like. She yeah, wants hard, me. hard to read. She might be into you. It's hard to read. Yeah. She wants uh, me. The, the other <laughs> two of you. Josh. Cedric is just Josh. The other two of you. Um, it's young Josh. You sense she's Josh. a little overwhelmed right now uh, <laughs> in that a lot is happening very quickly and this is unexpected and um, she's kind of in a flurry and she's being very polite. Um, you're not sure whether or not she kind of really means it, but she's definitely intrigued. Nifron, that's pretty much what you Ooh. get, especially knowing her, is that, um, you... Apologies. Yeah, you, you kind of... She, she's... This is her, like, oh, there's so much to do kind of yeah. mode, and she's taken aback and, like, kind of overwhelmed for a moment. Yeah. Apologies okay. for the intrusion, ma'am. Oh, no worries at all. We're always happy to have Nifrom here, of course, and as well as any friend of Nifrom is welcome here. 
Is, is there anything that our men, uh, and I point to Marcus and Cedric, can do for you while we're here, perhaps? Oh, wow. I think that's all right. We we have everything covered. Thank you very much. Oh, if you'll okay. excuse me, mm. I is have... There, is there anything you'd like the ladies to do? And I point to, to Gendry and Nifrim. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I don't think that'll be necessary. Um, if well, you'll excuse me, uh, I of course, ma'am. I, I need to um, prepare some things and make sure the staff is aware to make enough food and uh, that um, uh, Selby knows. Uh, oh, so, um, Wilton will lead you to the visitor premises where you can. Get ready for dinner, and of course, Nifrom, you can go. Your room is still available, untouched. Oh, um, good, good to know. Uh, so, uh, Wilton will retrieve you once um, dinner's ready. Uh, and if right. you need anything, don't be afraid to ask the help. Thank you. <gasps> she kind of curtsies and walks through the door to uh, screen left. To the left? Yeah, uh, oh. kind of over, okay. over here. Yeah. Uh, oh, Nifra, we must, we must, absolutely must uh, see your room. Can we go to your room? I want to see your room. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> as, as as shut up and close your mouth. <laughs> It's a thing. <laughs> Look forward to those t-shirts. Um, I believe they said we should be going to the guest quarters. Yeah, no, Wilton. So I, so I, I, I look over at Cedric. Cedric, is there something wrong? You're wearing a shirt. I, I know. I feel very uncomfortable. It's flattering. I want to burn it. I don't even like Thor. What you meant so. to say was it's flattering. You misspoke. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. So Wilton <laughs> walks over the butler and says, "Well, if you don't like it, then I'll take it back." If you'd please follow me, oh, fight, I'll fight, take you fight, to fight. your your domicile. Oh, we of call course. it a domicile. And Are you the help? Bows. Of course. Oh. Why do you need something? Um. No. Let me think. No, they oh, don't. No, no. Apparently, I stop don't. being obtuse. Very well. Oh. If you do, Obtuse, let any of us know. Uh. Stop it. <laughs> Follow me, please. I'm being a cutie patoot. And he kind of bows and then patoot. starts heading toward the uh, the front door again. And come, which come, opens. Come, come, come. <laughs> and uh, so, Nifrom, are you going with them or are you uh, heading upstairs? Um, I am going to head upstairs. Oh All man, right. can I go see Nifrim's room? So we'll, I promise uh, I'll I'll take you there at some point. I would like to do this myself uh, first. No, we're peasants. We're not allowed in that part. That so... is not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna stop and watch Nifrim as she leaves. The rest of the group. I'll be we'll back. um. We'll start trouble. with uh, the the gents. Uh, so Wilton leads you kind of. Um, uh, eastward uh, on the property um, where <laughs> there you see a what would be an absolutely massive mansion if it weren't sitting next to a gargantuan mansion. Very large, two levels, uh, very elegant, just as elegant as the main building. Um, and leads you down a path, and he shows you, uh, you each have your own room. Uh, unfortunately, Nefram, when building this, forgot to make, um, visitor quarters, so, uh, <laughs> that's all right. We'll oh, use imagination, chef. but, um... You can't all just hang out in Nefram's room, dude. <laughs> and, uh, each of you have your own room. They're all fairly identical, um... Very large with your own sort of um, chamber pot area. Uh, it's weird to have kind of a separate room for chamber pots and the water basin. Um, and there's a mirror in there. Uh, the bed, huge beds. Uh, enough to like... Like five times the size of any nice bed you've slept in. 
uh, four posts with cloth hanging above. Very elegant, like a billion fucking pillows and a nice comforter. Uh, yeah, Marcus. We can, like, the posts you say, there's there's fabric over top. Can we see through that fabric or no? No, no. It's uh, it's just, like, you know, a four-post bed with uh, kind of yeah. drapes. And it has the drapes coming down the posts, like curtains. I'm just concerned that somebody could hide over top of them. So it's I very, to it, it's it. still pretty thin, and it kind of hangs loose, like it drips. Okay, it, it drapes Stop down. Stop giving me ideas, Marcus. <laughs> God, <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely like suspicious of that. Yo, like... I, I, I see the pillows, and I'm like, oh, that's why Nifrim always sleeps in the ground. <laughs> Yeah, all these pillows her whole life. Wilton yep. kind of shows you, each of you, where everything is in the room, and that includes a um, a wardrobe that he opens, and it does already have clothes for each of you in your rooms, uh, Ooh, in the ca- in the wardrobes. Um, very nice, like robes and tunics, um, different styles. Uh, all fairly Alfheimian, kind of Anglo-Saxon style, uh, sort of old English. Can um, I, um, yeah. Can I, uh, hang out with Cedric for just a second? Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey there, uh, C- <clears throat> um, hey, Cedric, um, uh, yes. This is a lot of clothing. I think at these affairs, I haven't really been to many of them in my time, but I do believe it is apropos for you to put on as much clothing as possible that they give you. Roll a deception. <laughs> Cedric inside. Oh, good. Cedric, what'd you get? two, so it's a 45. <laughs> Rose. 14. You, 14. And Gendry? I got a 24. Yep. Uh, I mean, Cedric, um... Gendry does dress nice, like noble. Um, mm. He must mm-hmm. know what he's talking about. Mm. <laughs> okay. So what I'm saying what, is, what, in, in order to it... fit in and, and really make this worth it and not embarrass Nifrim, you're going to have to throw on as many of these clothes. Oh, absolutely. I would like to look good for her mother, too. So um, <laughs> why don't you oh, sit there and help me? Absolutely. Why don't I you will. sit there and help me pick I out will. the ones I that will. I should wear? All right, all right, all right. Montage, I'm going to sit on the foot of the bed or whatever <laughs> and just him strutting <laughs> out in different clothing. <laughs> I'm walking on sunshine. Like it, 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 yeah, it keeps opening the curtain and it's like different. Like one's a cowboy. Another's in a bikini. <laughs> you got one in a very elegant dress, like the exact same dress as Nifram's mother. Um, where Cedric's just like... Mm. <laughs> Great. You have on like nine ties, 20 shirts, seven vests, some jackets. So Pair just like flops. This seems like a little much. Are, are you sure? It's very warm. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, wait, can you? How, I am let, sweating let me profusely. See, let me see how. What, what's your range of movement here? Uh, he no, moves no, his no, arms no, about no, no. three we, inches we need more. Uh, we but need how more. am I supposed to eat? I'll feed you. I'll sit right next to you. It'll be fine. They I, have the help. If they have the help, it, they uh, use the help uh, spoon feeds them. <laughs> Soups and liquids. I would like to cry like a baby. I'm not gonna be able to eat food. <laughs> Fine, I will, I'll do it. It's all good. It's all good. All right, let's get let's get a few more on you. Okay, okay. here's one. And here's this one. Oh, and you gotta put on about this one. Five vests. And this one here. Six hey. tunics. Hey. Oh, oh, what about okay. a three capes? Hat. Here you go. Oh, and 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 hat, the big literal the, hat on hat. The bigger feather in the hat, the more noble you are. So let me find the biggest feather. Okay, okay. All right, I'm I'm very sweaty. But I... (laughs) You you didn't put on deodorant before we started? Take everything What is deodorant? I don't know. No one knows. (laughs) Okay. Can you just maybe shove some, like, mint down my shirt so if I sweat... You know what? Axe body spray. Oh. 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 <laughs> Takes out his decanter of endless water. Oh. Yep. <laughs> mm. All right, I think you're good. There are the All basins right. where you can refresh yourself as well. and. But he remember. can't because his hands No, he can't. 
We're gonna. <laughs> Marcus! Oh, help, please come over here and splash my face with water, please. <laughs> flick, flick. <laughs> flick, flick. So how many how many pants do I have on? Uh, about oh, I don't four. Know. I'd say roll, roll trousers. For pants. Roll for oh, pants. So how, how can I how how well can I walk? Not well. Are there give a lot me, of stairs? Give me. There's some. Uh, give me. Give me a general dex check. Oh, oh my Marcus, god! Marcus, come in here. We're gonna have to wheel this bastard to the table. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this together, buddy. I'm not gonna forget you. I'm not gonna, get, I'm not gonna give up you on you. Why are you wearing all these clothes? What is I this? I will. I know. I will. I will put mine on right before. What, but it's what'd you get? Your first. I got a 16. Ceremony, very important. 16. Very important. Yeah, you definitely uh, penguin walk. <laughs> It's it's working pretty well, Dude, but you you, you wobble. <laughs> Is there anything expensive around? Uh, yes, so there's sorry. lots of expensive around. Oh my god! Oh, great. My face hurts. <laughs> Is he close to anything expensive? Uh, with that dex check, um, he, he's he's dodging them pretty well. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> Uh, I, I still, I still feel like a, and then a ballerina, <laughs> dressed like normal. Yeah, normal, middle, middle, low, lower, upper class thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, kind of Carl. Not close. too fancy because you know I don't want to look like flashy. Uh, uh, that's for my armor. No. Okay. Um, sure, that's too. I that's also the shiny. feel like. I, mm. I should have the helmet on at the very least, but <laughs> do you <laughs> permanent like that? I hair. talked myself out of it. I'm like, oh, damn it. <laughs> but I do still keep Mjolnir Jr. with me because uh, kind of yeah. the, yeah, with the leather strap here, uh, kind of yeah. dangling from your belt. Yep. Mm. Well, they haven't seemed to stop us yet with our weapons. You'd be nope. strapping. I feel like strapping young lad. They think they can take the four of us if things get. Harry. You get that Where feeling. Where take us? I don't even to need death. a sheath. My weapon is just under my shirts. <laughs> so you, so you I have walk open to And I look at him, I'm like, why are you dressed like an idiot? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No, um, <laughs> it's for the ceremony. It's his first dinner. Um, we, we wanted to do it proper. Hey, what does he mean? I'm going to look like a what? What is this? Are you fucking with me? Yes, he's he's messing no, with No, I you. wouldn't ever. Marcus, what? come on. We need to make <laughs> a good impression. What is the matter you. with you? What is the matter with you, Marcus? Why would you disparage his efforts in making a good first impression? Come on. That is not a good first impression. Uh, I'll help wow. you take all that off. That and is not a good friend. Is what I I'm should saying. never oh have God. left you alone. <laughs> they really I really should have. With you, Nifrim, but you were like, I gotta do this myself. So this is what happened. <laughs> Gedry is trying to make you look like an idiot and break expensive things. Let me go. Gedry is not doing anything. He's wearing all of it. It's wonderful and, and great. <laughs> oh my it's God. So Expensive. I, uh, More expensive than you've ever seen. That, I, what you're wearing is is worth a fortune. You should, you should definitely I help him get on. undressed and then oh. properly dressed. Uh, you oh. know, like Ooh. I somehow in that short amount of time got like them too? Just go tons of bo. Just uh, yeah. he lost like six pounds and he smells real bad. <laughs> well, what a fast cutting season! Help I'm so him, fucking ripped him. again. <laughs> get, get cleaned up and not smell like crap, and then. <laughs> you know, get him like dressed like a proper noble person. Oh, you're ash you're acting no, no, like, like a kilt. Like a, I I like a like a kilt. Do we have a kilt uh, in there somewhere? No, no, no like... he doesn't wear any underwear. Come on, no. I want. Oh, we don't want that. Wait, I want a kilt now. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm wearing. <laughs> this dinner is quickly mine, becoming so a disaster. I encourage I, him to do the no. same. Sure, there's I'll a kilt in there. Oh, oh, because Scotland forever. It's like an over the knees kilt, so my balls are hanging out. Alright, and that's my cue. I'm out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my I'm here God. for dinner. This uh, is sir, your balls off are out. the rails. <laughs> <laughs> sir. Wow. Uh, oh, sir. Um, your balls are showing. Yeah. You're with them. So, so I'm sorry. I was uh, prepping something. Are you keeping all the clothes on or are you? No. Okay. Marcus, Marcus came in the room and yeah, I am okay. never going to believe Gendry if again. We want to, if we want to mark <laughs> one of the great sadnesses yeah. in this campaign for me, it's this moment. Um. <laughs> And then Gendry, now are you Scottish doing anything to prepare? Oh no, I mean I was already wearing uh, super fine clothes that I pulled out of my yep. bag. I'll just be me. All right. Mm. So we'll uh, pause there and head over to Nifrom. Um, 
Nifrim, as you climb the stairs, um, down the hallways that you still remember. It's still deep engraved in your brain. I'm going to stop by Erling's door and just rest my hand on the frame for a minute and kind of take a breath and then turn and walk down the hall. As you stand in front of the door that you grew up behind, it's a little intimidating, but also comforting. And as you open the door, you... It all comes rushing back. This room is almost exactly as it was ten years ago. Let's take a look. Oh shit. The, the multiple tables with all sorts of stuff. All your tinkering. Well, I've dabbled all in your... uh, some alchemy. And I've mm -hmm. also dabbled in, obviously, making arrows and kind of different kinds of uh, trinkets to make them more effective. A little bit of, little bit of tinkering and... Very much yeah. so. Lots of books, your, lots of scrolls. Your small forge, your, um, your piping, your boiler, all the uh, other alchemy stuff, all there, exactly as you left it. Um, as you kind of look around and walk over kind of to your bed, still made, but messied a bit, like just a little, like someone's been laying on it occasionally since it's been made. Um, Is everything covered in dust, or does it look like they no. regularly? No, it clean? seems the thrall have uh, still still come in here to clean. The trusted ones, um, and uh, it's clean, but they know not to move anything, especially in your room, because they know how upset you would get whenever they would move your things around and tidy up. <sighs> Just kind of take a look around at everything and run my hands over, like, the old books that are on the shelves and the little jars that still have liquids in them from ten years ago. You still remember what most of them hold. Mm -hmm. You're always bad at labeling them. Kind of, kind of frown and I'm like, oh, somebody should really, really dump this out. Yuck. <laughs> it brings back a lot of memories. Some good. Some bad. Some frustrating. Some exciting. There were a lot of discoveries and bright ideas born in this room. I, uh, I look around and I kind of take it all in and take a deep breath um, as I walk into the like water closet area to freshen up a little bit and um, see myself in the mirror, like not really recognizing who I am compared to who I was. And I take some water and kind of splash it on my face. Very refreshing. I take a deep breath and quickly wipe away the tear that just just threatened to fall and kind of compose myself again <laughs> before I head back downstairs to try to find oh the trio of mischief <laughs> <laughs> you of course know where the uh, visitor premises is mm -hmm. um it's easy the, enough to get back houses. there yeah the guest house yeah you uh kind of set yourself get ready and Head outside to the large domicile uh, reserved for visitors to keep them kind of separate from the house. You walk into the main atrium. It's like the gathering room, basically, uh, for visitors. Uh, big, soft couches, uh, nice fireplace, um, a 
like buffet of hors d'oeuvres, uh, some very nice decanters of wine, and a Cideric halfway through taking off 50 sets of clothes. Oh, having trouble <laughs> deciding what to wear? No, Gendry fooled me again. I'm never believing him ever again. <sighs> If that's the worst thing he's done today, then we're doing all right. I don't know. I got really sweaty. You're going to have to wash every single one of these clothes. Marcus is being mean. He's making some accusations and Cedric is just taking it hook, line and sinker. Yeah. I, I, I really, I, I don't, I don't appreciate. Marcus, you look fantastic. He looks very nice. Oh, you're Marcus, muted. You're, muted. Also, you're also muted. Your, <laughs> your mouth is moving, but no words are coming. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you, but I feel strange without my armor, so... I'm sure. You look uh, pretty strange without your armor. Oh. Thank you. Your flesh is so soft and malleable. Weird. Well, mm, that's a little <laughs> serial killery. <laughs> <laughs> it's so supple. Gendry chimes in, I know, right? And makes to do like a slap hands with Super. <laughs> no, don't touch me. <laughs> uh, for, uh, what, what about a down low? Are you trying no, to fondle yeah. him? Yeah, you want you want some of this? Uh, maybe I should. I fear, I fear there's been a miscommunication. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. They're already in your hands. <laughs> oh, he's wearing the kilt. No, they are not. They absolutely are not. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, Ew. Ew. Mm. So you you managed to help kind of. Um, <laughs> Help Cedric find proper clothes. Sure. I am wearing a uh, fancy kilt, and then my shirt is going to be, like, just a little tight around the arms, and then I got the button down, hair's poofing out of it, looking hot. Looking hot. 16-year-old <laughs> with the poofy chest hair. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, not, like, super poofy, but, like, there's man hair under there. You want sure. people to know you've reached puberty. Okay. Yeah. One single hair. Just <laughs> I'm a man. But it's like really, it's like really long. <laughs> like it's as Yikes. long as your sword is. And, I just, and we're walking. I gel it. I gel it and I fucking you gel it. it. You so gel you look it. like a unicorn with one hair. <laughs> oh my eye! It's just sticking straight out. And Maybe you can put food on it later. It's too late. <laughs> Bring it in, bring it in. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I'm blind, just as I have planned. Oh my god, Steve, save us. <laughs> so, kind just of in the I middle of planned. your antics, you hear a uh, <laughs> bell ring at the uh, the entrance. Ding, ding. You the look dinner. and see uh, Wilton there. If you'll at all, please head to the dining room. Um, time for dinner. Thank you, Wilton. All uh, right, gents. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, yes, yes, dinner, dinner. I Are we all dinner. completed getting dressed, or he walk in mid shenanigans? Like, no, nah, it's yeah, right as you're kind of uh, finishing up. Right here. <laughs> God damn. God damn it. Y'all are real comfortable with Nifrim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you couldn't even show us your room. Jesus Christ. I said, look don't at all do the it, pillows Alicia. on the bed, Nifrim. Look at all the pillows. Is that, is that, is that why? Is that, is that why you do the thing? Do what thing, Gendry? <laughs> oh, well, it's the thing we must not speak of. It's, it is you, so... you sleep in dirt. Is there too many pillows? You hated oh, the pillows, so you sleep in dirt. You okay, see, you I have will no... have to tell you that story sometime. There is a reason no why cat. I do that, and um, maybe I'll I'll get to that point. All right, so it's it's not the pillow. Thing. No, it's not the pillows. <laughs> pillows are not a factor. No. In fact, no, they are not. So. All right, so you don't care about the pillows. They're really just, in, you're indifferent to the pillow. I mean, they're nice, but it um, has nothing to do with I sand. see where you're going, Gendry, and I want one too, so. That's uh, that's where I was going. <laughs> yeah. Could I steal half a dozen pillows? Oh, no, no, absolutely not. They will notice. Do you, you hear behind really, you. a million pillows. At the really? door. <clears throat> As Wilton tried to wait impatiently. <laughs> oh no! Uh, the, the, the help you get, you can. You're, you're the help. You can help me take these out to my to my car. Oh. Uh, my car. <laughs> Dinner time then. 
Listen, everyone knows Follow the me. mini soaps and the and the and the robes. Oh of my free. god! And the towels. And, and the little and shampoos. Towels. And the little shampoos. And the half a dozen different things. Just not just anything in the mini bar broke. because they, they will go. charge you for the yes, mini bar. Yes, but there is free oh, breakfast in the morning. But it's, but it's mini. Ooh, Ooh free breakfast. Breakfast buffet. <laughs> Ooh, do they have any French toast? Yeah, I that fucking is, but do they love have a it? continental breakfast. You don't. Just grab a bagel and some cream cheese. Amazing. Which yeah. continent? Banana. All yes. of them. Alpha. All of them. So no. as you follow Wilton back to the main estate, sure. Um, honestly, it's kind of a walk. Uh, you know, this is a very large estate ground. Um, I wouldn't have shown up until after dinner with all of those clothes. <laughs> um, 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 Wilton, um, uh, um, if, if I may, if I may, um, when your parents named you, did, did they know that they were naming you a name that sounds like you'd be serving people? <laughs> I'm not sure I understand your meaning. What are you saying is you were born they call to be you, a butler? Do they call you anything for short, Big Willie? I was born Will? to as a servant. I was born. I was, born, I was born as a thrall. My parents were thralls. Okay, so perhaps that I've been serving be. this family my entire life. Yes, you have, and you've done a mm. fantastic job of it. Um, Thank you, Please ma'am. excuse my friends. They are very, very unaccustomed to higher forms of living. You're kind of a Ooh. very subtle. <laughs> Ouch! That no worries, mum. Here, uh, yes, here, here you go, uh, Nifram. It's the dagger I, in my heart. I <laughs> fully you. admit to that. I have been a farmer and a soldier all my life, so this I is don't. I'm a fancy bitch. What I've been of is none of my business. So oh my God. It's none of your damn business, and I, I, ex I expect uh, you to just I'm gonna uh, hide it. under a rock. <laughs> Which is normal for her. Ooh, maybe it was embarrassment that made her. Oh my god. Do the sleeping under the, the dirt. So he he leads you guys back in the main front doors, um, and in, to the right in the atrium this time, into a very large dining hall with a very large table. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, Oscar and Orvar oh, with shit, us? shit, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I meant to say. Yeah. We'll kind of rewind real they quick. They putting on shirts today. Um, they're, 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 they're they come out of their rooms <laughs> and, like, not clean shaven. Remember, they, they shaved for the um, the mm -hmm. trip. Uh, it's, start, it's coming back quick. Um, but it's neatly shaven and tidied up. And very fine clothes. Um, and they seem to be kind of fitting in a little better. They're just, they've just been watching you guys like. Oscar, you look very nice. You clean well, up thank well. Thank you very much. Um, I come from a, an all right family. Nothing quite like this. This is. I'm sorry, I haven't said anything. Um, the DM didn't forget about me. I've just been flabbergasted. I know, it's a, it's a lot to take in. It is a lot. Marcus? Uh, after he, like, brings us in there, can I slip him, like, a gold piece? Like, thanks for the trouble, bro. Wow, wow, you don't tip the hell. He kind of looks down point. at the gold, looks back up. Sir, that's not necessary, and... Hands it back oh. to you. That, that's fine. Okay. No, I'll take I'll it. I'll take it. it. Oh. Thank you. No, no. It was for him, and if he doesn't want it, then mm -hmm. that's fine. <laughs> I was just trying to show appreciation. Mm -hmm. Well, there are other ways of showing appreciation. It's just my job, sir. Uh, face is in her hands pretty much the whole time. You just don't tip how, are, the how are you going to be able to eat your food with your hands in your face? My hands Nip, in when, my face? When, when do we get to see your room? Yeah, so the dining hall, very large table. Uh, this food actually isn't quite here yet, but um, I didn't have a chance to hide it um, when I was prepping. Sure. Uh, but <laughs> many tables as you guys, uh, he actually guides you to specific chairs. Um, mm. The Nephrim at the end, followed by Marcus. Um, let me kind of fix your orientation there, Marcus. Why are you facing that way? 
Um, <laughs> God damn it, Marcus! Uh, you really fucked that one up. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm clearly hey, looking hey, for hey. the nearest door to get the hell up out of here. Hey, dude, I'm looking for shit to on. steal. Come on, man. <laughs> um, followed by Gendry. Oh, we're using, oh my, that's what I was doing. we're using I was my party. Gendry my to party make sure and the brothers. <laughs> Damn it. Um, and I'm sat next, right, right by Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> As <laughs> he, Goody Two Shoes, I'm not Goody Two. Goody Two Shoes, no, don't want to get murdered by the guards. Yes, that's Goody Two Shoes. So again, this, uh, <laughs> this table isn't this um, full. <laughs> However, there are multiple hors d'oeuvres, uh, place settings in front of you. Uh, so many forks why are there all these forks and like three different kinds of knives uh like four spoons and they're they're all like very neatly arranged the plate around the plates oh, no and these Did glasses so these very, very I am, glasses i am so sorry oh no <laughs> cedric cedric that fork you use to stab people you disagree with no <laughs> We had those back home. We would get into a lot of tussles, and that would be. All right, we never just ate what with I'm them, saying so. is, be ready. Be ready. I'm always ready. Oh my Very God, good. that's my secret. <laughs> oh, we're all gonna die. T P. Maybe I need to sit in between them. No, I mean just Cedric. I'm gonna act like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? I'm not gonna support him. Cedric <laughs> doesn't really use forks. It's about this time. <sighs> sure. That behind <laughs> you, you oh, hear no. Nephirim! And as you turn around, you see a young, very young, you figure not even teenager yet, girl with rounded face, bright blue eyes. She's wearing a nice red dress with a white collar and sleeves, golden, beautiful golden embroidery along the seams throughout the dress. Nifram, you... You've never seen her... It's been a long time since you've seen her, but you recognize those eyes as Oons. And she <sighs> just attack hugs you. She runs up and does a jumping leap or a jumping hug. At first, Nifram looks really uncomfortable, like with her arms kind of like this, like, uh, uh. She just wraps her arms around your waist. And then when she kind of realizes who it is and what's happening, she's going to pick her up Nifram. and just oh. give her the biggest hug. It's so nice to meet you. You're even more beautiful than Eva's paintings of you. Oh, my gosh. Oon, the this, child needs affirmation. Hurry. This is amazing. I... I've been so looking forward to meeting you. I can't believe you're here. Oh. Finally, we get to meet. Oh. What, what, what are you, what are you doing here? Is this, does this have to do with your, your, yes, your yes, little yes. quest? Oh, I can't wait to hear about, about it. I'm so excited. I can't excited. wait to tell you. Um, have you kept all of my tomes? Of course, of course. Of and, course, uh, I can show you. I'm going to look around kept them safe from prying eyes, I assume. She kind of very similarly looks around uh, and leans in. Nobody knows but us. <laughs> oh, wonderful. She sounds like Golem. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say to Cedric. Yeah, looks, ready. Be ready. It looks like Nifrim just was attacked <laughs> by a small halfling. <laughs> or something. Precious. And then oh I'll be like, oh, no, 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 they're hugging. Guys, it's guys, it's just a child. Sorry, Gendry, did <laughs> you have something? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you see uh, Wilton kind of uh, put a hand on Un's shoulder. If you would please sit, ma'am. Oh, okay, but we'll talk later, okay? We'll talk later. All right, all right. And I'll give her okay, hands but... a, a squeeze. <laughs> She kind of giggles and smiles and waddles over to the uh, the end of the table. Uh, let me reveal her and bring uh, kind of back to this view uh, down here at the next to um, Orvar. Is she kind oh, of 
has a booster seat. She kind of climbs up onto the chair and sits down and, Hi, I'm Un. It's like, oh, pleasure to meet you. My name's Orvar. How old are you? I'm ten. Wow, that's... You're quite big for a ten-year-old. It's like, yeah, I, I work out a lot. <laughs> and they kind of continue the conversation as um, bench more than you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oscar nudges you. Ten year old girl. <laughs> Oscar kind of elbow bumps you. Um, just when uh, two more people enter, uh, oh, of course, boy. Nifrom, you uh, you recognize them immediately uh, as. Uh, Thyra says, like, stops and looks at you and says, So glad you could find your way back. I was afraid you'd gotten lost out in the world. It's a big world, after all. You guys see okay. uh, another elf, uh, similar features to Nifrim, uh, probably mid 20s. A uh, soft jawline with black hair tied up into buns on either side. Um, you, they're tied up Princess with, Leia. uh, kind of, um, they're tied <laughs> up with golden <laughs> thread. Ribbons. A beautiful red dress with golden, golden and silver embroidery covering the entire dress and the long sleeves. Next to her is her again? Someone looking extremely like the other. Uh, but her hair is let down and curled slightly, with similar golden chains adorning the top of her hair. A beautiful aqua blue flowing dress with white accents. Um, Ilva says, You must have seen such beautiful landscapes. You must tell me about them. Oh, I've, I've got a few um, images in my sketchbook of places I've seen and things I've done. I can't wait to see them. I always did enjoy your art. Um, I can't wait to see how it's evolved. Oh, I'm sure it's changed in the last ten years. That's definitely for certain. Um, of course, Cedric, of course. And, and the rest of you, this this is the twins, Thyra and Ilva. Um, they kind of turn and curtsy. They are... They seem kind of what? They Ill seem kind of waspy. Kind of what? Uh, waspy? Wow, what's that, Cedric? Did you say they seem waspy? <laughs> I didn't say that. How could you say that? Really? You're like rude. You're just they kind of look at me. each other, and <laughs> Thyra gives such a dagger look at the both of you. <laughs> Come on, Eva. I, Let's I, find I, our I, seats. She gives me that look, and I elbow Gendry. She wants me. Oh, <laughs> Cedric, um... You know what she does? Yes. Ilva is her namesake means female wolf. Oh. Well, there you go. And then of there course Thyra. It's like it was made in heaven in the heaven. She the, Marcus, uh, her namesake is essentially like thunder. <gasps> Ladies for the both of us. Yeah. Oh, that's Great. not what I meant. As they, no. as they're walking, you're saying this oh, as no. they're walking around the table, you're talking to each other, and they they sit at the end across from uh, Oscar, or Orvar and um, Un. Um, hmm. uh, Nifram's face is fire engine red. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like her head's gonna pop off. We are on our worst behavior. A hundred percent. I see them and I think they look kind of like what I imagined my daughter would have looked like if she fully grew up. So it's great. Marcus is just bringing the sad. To <laughs> Rough. Rough. As you're kind of as that's ding, running ding, ding, through ding, your that, your mind. As that's running through your mind, Marcus, uh, you all hear another coming through the door as you hear, Oh, if I had known we had guests, I would have cleaned up a bit. Um, God, you turn to you find a um, gorgeous elven woman, drop dead beautiful, probably mid 40s, which is still very young for an elf. 
long hair down to her mid back with some curled bits draped over one shoulder, braided at the top in a circle with a flower in there. Face is speckled with just enough freckles. Long, elaborate, dark blue dress with the same kind of corset straps across the front. Pushed up, emphasizing her bust, which is formidable. <laughs> A formidable bust. Long, draped, draping sleeves. Very elegant. Oh A golden necklace around her neck uh, with the symbol of a rose, like right in the cleavage, like drawing your eye there as those things do. Very elegant earrings done up very well. Which point she, uh, you hear Ilva say, we all knew the staff informed us and like kind of Kari just kind of waves that off and goes to hug Nif. Hello, Kari. So good to see you. And as she hugs you, she kind of leans in, whispering in your ear. You haven't laid claim to any of these fine gentlemen, have you? <laughs> oh, but do you want have, to step on any toes? Have at it, my dear. Have at it. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of... Seems like... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys I will don't hear say, I will say um, the, the, the very large one is engaged. Oh, how duly noted. Are you? <laughs> duly noted. And she kind of disengages and holds yeah, you. She likes that kind of thing. Hey, yeah, maybe that'll make you more attractive. Yeah. <laughs> He's taken. It's She's like, so, oh. It's yeah, I mean, so good to have people like that. It, it means that he has qualities that are attractive. Oh and yes. she says, it's, it's so it. good to have you back. And then she kind of turns, kind of gives all the gents a grin and does like the most like you know strut like s flowing strut down around the table and to when, uh sitting across from oscar when yeah. she Who says that? oh that's my sister kari when she when she says it's nice to have you back can i insight check that bitch of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 17 again. 17. Um, you and she have never been close, um, but you recognize her game face. And you know what I mean by game. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. She could probably care less. She could probably care less about okay. you being here. She's not kind interested in your return. She's interested in other things in the room. Sure, Should've sure. Worn my armor. Three other things. Nifrim kind of to a battle or more grins. <laughs> All right, and, settle uh, down. Settle down, boys. Nope. <laughs> this will be fun. Uh, can I can I pretend to be wooed by her hard? <laughs> Give me a wooed by her hard what? Her hard, uh, formidable breasts. What give me that? a deception. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bro. Formidable breasts. Like formidable breasts. breasts. I got a. I got a twenty-nine. Like sandbags. Twenty-nine. <laughs> you. I, you've never touched it. Anyway. Um, like bricks in a purse. <laughs> <laughs> it's like jelly, right? And you're out. Not that kind of show. Um, it so is 100%. Is. It really is. It really is. Anyway. You, um, you give her some eyes and she locks eyes a couple times. She kind of, as she sits, you're very obviously checking her out. And uh, she kind of looks at you and grins and then kind of looks a little closer at your face and kind of gives a, a, a very warm smile and then turns to talk to her sister. Tight. Yeah, Marcus? Are, are his eyes still bleeding? Yeah, well, I mean, they're, they're, they're cheek, his cheeks are still black. <laughs> Unless she so I, makes I, up I, over I, them. I, I just I, wanted I, to I be mimic, clear. Like, I mimic her flirtation so, stuff, and then I turn to, I, and I pretend to talk she's to, to Cedric, edge, but no, okay. <laughs> no words are coming out. I'm getting very much from the IT crowd. Uh... What's his name? Yeah. And then he's got the like uh, off look and he's like, everybody yeah. looks at me weird. Yeah, Richmond. No. Yes, Richmond. Richmond. Oh, fuck. I love that character. Anyway. 
It's about, it's at that time you hear from the doorway. It's about time you found your way home, Niff. And you turn and see Tarbin. The rest of you see another elf, similar Colburn features. Uh, Tarbin looks to be about mid to late 20s. Very chiseled jaw, unlike the others. He's got a, a black mohawk that kind of hangs over and curls to one side. Um, and it goes all the way down to the base of his neck uh, in the back. Uh, dark gray tunic that shows just a little chest hair uh, on his very that, muscular body. Wow. Leather vest with some golden embroidery. Very fine. Uh, wrestle. Short, tight leather oh, pants with that. a lot of pockets. It looks <laughs> kind of... It, they're nice, but they look very functional. As he smiles at uh, Nephrim. I'll give him a hug. He kind of hugs you a little too tight. It's wonderful to see you. Lovely to see you back. Um, surely you've seen some action out there in the wilds. Oh, you have to tell me much. some stories. I can't wait I think, to hear them. I think you'd be surprised. Really? Oh, can't very wait much. To hear it. I think actually and, you and Cedric might have a lot in common, and I kind of nod to really? Cedric. And he kind of turns and so uh, kind of eyes the rest of you and kind of smiles and nods. Pleasure. And he walks around Indeed. to the... I don't, I, I don't know. It looks to me like he wears shirts pretty regularly. I don't, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think so. We it's don't a, know it's that. a highbrow, he, he Cedric. He might have been forced into it, okay? Oh, oh a highbrow, Cedric. Wow. <laughs> As he sits across <laughs> from... Um, from Gendry, Gendry, actually. Caddy corner from Cedric and Marcus and kind of sits and l looks kind of at both of you and kind of glances over to Cedric. Um, you seem like you... Sorry, accent. You seem like you take care of yourself. What's your training regiment? Um, well, I wake up. I mm -hmm. eat breakfast. Protein's I... important. Yes, sure. Um, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I mean, I, I don't really do anything. I just look like this all the time, so... I have to say, it's mostly cheese. <laughs> I, <did. laughs> I do a lot of fighting. At you. I do a lot of fighting. I have this giant sword, and it kind of works my biceps. But other than that, I mean, I don't really do much. I That's forward an and I impressive... Go. Sorry, He God. killed his last chieftain. Really? That is an impressive sword. Reminds me of the oh. dire braid of Vither. I'll have to show you my collection. <laughs> oh no, it, it, it was with his body. Ooh. You killed a chieftain. Yes. I like collections of souls. He was kind of a dick. It's a huge long story <laughs> over a few drinks, I might tell you. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, he, he, he's kind of a lunatic. He killed him because he was kind mm. of a dick. He wasn't even like a huge <laughs> dick, just kind of. Sometimes you hey, have to show hey. him who's boss. Exactly. Yeah, and then he left immediately, so I don't know who <laughs> the boss actually is. Okay. <laughs> his mom. Oh yes, his mom is for me. She has a formidable bosom as well. <laughs> why, why are you talking like this? Like what? I talk like this all the time. So oh he, my god, if you did, I would actually kill you. He kind of like leans <laughs> in on the table uh, towards you, Cedric, and says, Are you a berserker? Mm, kind of. Working there. Yeah? Still so, training, yeah. That's awesome. You know, I've been working on my Berserker trance a lot lately, uh, I broke a large stone with my bare fist the other day, at which immediately Oon, uh, kinda pipes up. It wasn't that large! Yes it was! Shut up! You don't know what you're talking about, Oon! You don't know anything about the way oh, of the sword, right, Sidra? We should, have some, con we should have some contests of strength. We should. Do you want to yeah. do it right now? And he puts his elbow on the on okay. the table. So, so this is where Kendrick goes. Um, do you want to switch places with me? <laughs> at, at, at which point you hear, Tobin, calm down. I told you to behave for our guests from the doorway, and 
there's Ragna, uh, Nifram's mom Aww. walking in. Mm. <sighs> I thought we were oh, fine. behaving. Fine, as he kind of oh, my lady. takes his elbow back <laughs> and she kind of smiles and nods and says, Sorry, we're all very excited for your return, Nifram. Which point Thyra kind of Ragna gives her the Ooh. look. <laughs> Thyra kind of sighs and rolls her eyes. Hmm. Nifram, it is so good to have you home as she goes around and sits across from you. I'm sure you missed family dinners like this. If only hmm. Erling were here, the family could be whole again. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Cedric. Is um Thyra was the beautiful woman? That was her name, Thyra. Uh, Thyra, Thyra, you, you might take is the notes. twin. Thyra yeah, is the kind of gruffer, <laughs> the the more stern <laughs> seeming twin. twin. Oh, okay. Josh in is going to be taking notes purely the for the blue, for in bang bang. dress, right? Just purely, purely, not purely to bang. To bang. Not to bang. Ten-year-old girl, the stern... not to bang. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Lyra's the more right. kind of stern in the, uh, in the uh, probably um, red dress with uh, red dress. gold and silver embroidery. <laughs> the <laughs> other, the <laughs> other twin <laughs> is uh, Ilva. Uh, she's she's uh, got Zash. the blue dress, and she's kind of the more softer one. And the third lady that came in? Kari is the oh my older God. sister. Kari's the beautiful one. Kari, space, sexy space. Formidable sure. bosom. <laughs> With formidable rock hard breasts. Yep. <laughs> Tarbin's the one that uh, oh is kind of brutish. Um, That's the guy I was just going to mention. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then Un still smashable. is the uh, child. Okay. And then, of course, Ragna, <laughs> the mother. He looks so intently sipy. Sits oh across from Nephrim at the <laughs> end of the table. Says, um. Yeah, if only Ear Erling were here, the family could be whole again. Ah, oh, I, I wish he was here as well. I'm sure he'll be upset he missed this reunion, but, uh. Of course, send word that you're here. You'll be so excited. The rest of you kind of see Nifrim just biting her tongue. <laughs> yeah, Cedric? I would like to do, on a more serious, less Cedric-y note, uh -huh. uh, a <laughs> perception to try to see past, like, the political facade that's probably going on in the room. See if I can see if any clear intentions. Um, give me an insight on anyone uh, in particular or just the general air? The general air. Give me an insight. General air. General air. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. I do, get, I do get advantage on insight. You do. Now that you're off heaven. Mm -hmm. Um. So you're kind of feeling for the vibe, and you've gotten pretty good at reading a room. Um. The air of the room is. A little tense and a touch awkward. Something seems to you, you kind of get the feeling that and kind of piece it together. Something happened when Nifram left and everyone sort of feels differently about it. However, um, there putting on a facade for guests. You know, they're proper. They've been trained okay. proper. And others are hiding it better than some of the others. Like, some are hiding better than others. Um, Ragna seems genuinely happy that Nifram's here. Um, although, again, there is that kind of tension. Um, Tarbin, honestly, seems like he could give a fuck. Um... Thyvers. Is that with a B? T A R B I N? Yep. T A R B E N. Yeah. Um, I can send you all the spellings after. Um, Kari um, seems, Different. again, could give a fuck, and um, she has other things on her mind. Very obvious. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Ilva seems interested, but there is still some tension, and Thyra is very bad at masking how she feels. She see she feels it's very tense between her and Nephrim. Okay. Ragna kind of speaks up. I trust you all found your accommodations to your liking. Absolutely, ma'am. We are sorry about the pile of clothes on the floor. That's all right. The thrall can clean up for you. I'm sure mm. it'll be tiny by the time you get back. And if you do need anything at all, don't be afraid to ask the help. Very good. Thank you. Of course, of course. Uh, at which point she's kind of interrupted by a voice from the doorway. Um, Nifrom, it's so good to see you again. And you turn and see Osmond. The rest of you see another Colburn-esque elf. <laughs> Fuck another one. <laughs> Probably mid-twenties to mid-thirties. Black hair and a small, very neat pompadour with buds buzzed sides. Very neatly trimmed goatee. Dark green tunic Ooh. with silver embroidery. Small messenger bad slung over his shoulder. Um, seems very, um, kind of proper and a little sort of distracted, kind of almost airheaded -y, but kind of uh, almost in his own head. Um, and he kind of walks up to give Nifram a hug. Osmond, I'm gonna squeeze his hands and give him a big hug. So good to see you. You really must tell me about your travels. Did you venture yourself to the Vegberg Mountains? Um, I've been a little bit of everywhere, but, um, I won't bore you with my scars. Oh, not to bore at all. I can't wait to hear them. As he, uh, goes around the table and, uh, sits next to, uh, between Kari and, um... Torben? Uh, Torben. And how does his Tarbin. behavior seem? Um, I'll let you roll with that. Um, he seems genuinely interested in hearing literally everything about Nephrim's adventures. As he sits down, like before he sits down, he takes off the messenger bag and puts the strap on the back of the chair, reaches in, pulls out a book and sets it on the table. Um, you can see it's a rather thick book. Um... It doesn't have any kind of name on the spine um, or anything like that or on the cover, uh, but it's it's fairly worn, um, at least halfway through it. Um, yeah, and he, he sits down and says, um, so where all have you been? Uh, do tell. Oh. It's a long list. It's been a long ten years. Um, I imagine. The details of which are, you know, remarkably fuzzy. <laughs> really? <clears throat> you didn't um, write anything down. I, you know, I actually did. Um, you must show me. A crack and ate it. At a later time, of course, I <laughs> absolutely will show you everything. Of course, of course. I'm, I'm sorry. So, so rude. Um, no, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, at which point, another voice from <laughs> the doorway. <laughs> um, is it Daddy? Bro, you should have sat like facing the door. Except this, you're just turning around like twenty. Times. This one comes from another doorway at the other end, as the oh, door boy. kind of bangs oh. open. Um, and you this see a. <laughs> you see another Colburn features elven woman uh, around 40s um, or I'm sorry this does come from the uh, the main doorway um, short black hair and a short pixie cut uh, glasses uh, sort of inspection glasses, these, uh, on her, um, head, resting on her head. They have multiple kind of lenses. Um, lots 
and lots of freckles, face just covered in freckles. A dark red dress, not too fancy, but very regal and proper looking. Almost, I guess a business dress? Very practical. Very fitting and practical. She walks in. Nifrim, so nice of you to join us. How long before you set back out on your childish adventures? Oh, Hertha, it's so good to see you haven't changed very much at all. (laughs) Neither have you. Indeed, I've changed. Hertha. Hertha. I have changed remarkably since we've last met. Really? In what way? Not that you would be very interested in knowing that. Suppose you're right. And goes to walk Mm. and take her place next to... She got something stuck up her butt. Next to uh, Ragna. Uh, 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 Your mother. uh, So Ragna's your mom? Okay, I didn't get that yet. (laughs) She kind of sits down and says... Tubing. You know... (laughs) Mother and father were worried sick about you. Why couldn't you think of them when making decisions? At which point Ragna says, Hertha! It's like, <laughs> kind of tuts at her mother. <laughs> oh. Very, very interesting. That's your grandma? No, that's my older no. sister. Oh. Ah, She's it's, in her 40s too. It's very, very wonderful to um come home and feel so welcomed. Thank you for that, of course. Listen, Nifrim. I'm not the one that abandoned this family for a whimsical idea of what exploration can be. Sure, and at sure. which point, Ragna kind of, that's enough. When she says that, Nifrim, guests. Nifrim lifts up her arm with the Fragna device and the sleeve kind of slips down and she, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She kind of glances at you that and stares daggers at you. Hmm. Ragna says, oh, do continue. Hertha, none of that. We have guests. Hertha says, oh, of course. And what wonderful people they seem kind of giving eh. eyes to the rest of you. <laughs> yes, Cedric. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I mean, you don't have to be sorry. Keep going. I'm enjoying yeah. this. Yeah, I was going to say Gendry, uh, Gendry elbows Cedric and offers him some popcorn. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you, thank you. Ragna says, that's enough using her mom voice under my breath just kinda, <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. under yes, my breath minding. i say <laughs> more and more like father every day she kind of <laughs> glances up at you with daggers i and smile then, bite, 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 bite. kind of <laughs> snarls at you a bit and uh she says father will be in shortly he's finishing up some business wonderful Sure, he'll be excited to see die. you. Which point Nifram, Ragna kind of nudges her. <laughs> With the appearance of Hertha, Nifram leans back in her seat and puts her boots on the table, like cross-legged as she's looking at her. Like puts a grape in her mouth. Nifram! Oh, it's that kind of place. I do it too. Nifram! Yes! I taught you better than that, your mother says. No, oh, I'm just Beat a off. heathen. I'm just a heathen from, from the wild, so... I said that's no, enough, you no. two. We can all be civil, yeah. <laughs> Gendry looks Thank over you, and Cedric. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing it back. Bring it back. Stop it. It's at this point that the other door opens, kind of with a bang, and um, someone kind of rushes in, uh, kind of frantically. I you will guys immediately see... take my feet off the table. <laughs> you guys see uh, probably late teens uh, elven woman similar features to the rest rounder cheeks though with softer features she has a, a pair of half glasses half moon spectacles on her nose medium length hair up in a bun at the back kept with vine looking thread with small leaves um, she has a s- single curly strands frame out of the bun framing her face, a very beautiful green dress, with a high neckline with silver accents. She comes in. 
I'm sorry the food is late, everyone. As soon as I heard Nephrim had returned, I demanded that the bland meal we were preparing be thrown away for a meal fitting for her return as she kind of comes over and oh, does the Selby. kind of hand grasp. Selby. So good to see you. It's wonderful to see you too, my dear. And I'll give her a hug. She'll hug you back. Nif, I thought you might enjoy a meal comprised of ingredients from all over Thorin to celebrate your travels. Oh, we have wonderful. roasted cactus from Muspelheim, fresh pineapple imported from Freys, berries from the Storm and Ligar jungle, and so much more. And of course, I'm having Wilton bring up some fine wine from Midgard. Wonderful. What about dolphins? Dolphins, um... We don't really... No. I've never had dolphin. Is it... No. Is it interesting? I don't... No, 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 we don't... Oh, I've just always no. wanted to try it. No, we don't have to for, go there. For a sad experience. So we, no. I'm curious. This, this sounds amazing. Like oh, a she's wonderful, curious. wonderful meal. Huh. Huh. Don't stifle a, a young person's curiosity. She goes and sits a at the person. opposite oh, end so of the table. <laughs> <laughs> You're so old. Who is she? Do is she your sister? Yeah, she's eighteen. Okay. Has <laughs> the guy came in that was with you on your travels that was there when you got the device? Oh, Erling? No. No, he's the one that's gone. Okay. Dude, he's I'm waiting here. for Cedric to just be like, "How many of you are there, Jesus?" <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> Sorry. As the your table is an fills up. Woman. As the oh, table fills oh. up. <laughs> You have been Do you busy. say that out loud directly in front of her? <laughs> no. Oh, please do <laughs> so. Formidable bosoms. <laughs> so, you hear, as I said, you hear um, some talking in the atrium behind you. Nifrin um, gets super stiff. <laughs> Uh, you Why see a so tall serious. elven man in the atrium speaking to Nox. Nox nods, turns and exits out the front. The man then er enters the dining hall, kind of sighs, turns and, and like, walks over. Are we going to get killed here? <laughs> you see uh, a tall <laughs> elven man, white, long hair plaited down his back, very regal purple robes and the cape silver fox nice carries a staff <laughs> with also uh, weirdly bangable <laughs> with a strange that was the point. <laughs> device on the tip and um i think as niff mentioned before he's nearing his 400s as far as age as he walks in Nifrim. so good to have you back. We've all been so worried about you. Hmm, ah. sounds more about that. Ah. <laughs> Hello, father. Rolling she, insight. She, gets, she stands up and again wipes her hands on her dress and walks over to him um. and holds he out holds her hand. He holds out a hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you both yep. at the same time hold out a hand <laughs> and he politely shakes it. Please sit. And he uh, walks over. What'd you get, Cedric? Fifteen. Fifteen? He seems pretty, like, truthful. Like, he seems mm. pretty happy to uh, have Nifrim back. Hmm. Um, as he gestures for uh, Nifrim to return to her seat, he walks to the end, the larger chair, and he um, he places his staff in a mount on the wall behind the chair. Um, he sits down, kind of, and turns to Nifrim and kind of reaches over and takes your hand in his and covers your hand with his other hand and says... Um, sorry, I lost my place. Uh, <laughs> he smiles gently and says, You must be exhausted from all your traps. I'm sure it's good to be home. Ah, uh, I think you might find him rather resilient in that regard. 
Um, but yes, it is <laughs> very good to be home. That doesn't surprise me at all, my dear. Hmm. So, I suppose, um, proper introductions are, are due. Nifram, if you would please introduce your friends. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, sitting next to me here, this is Marcus. Hail. He nods. And next to him is Gendry. Uh, hello. <laughs> Pleasure. And, of course, last but not least, is Sidric. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pleasure to meet you, sir. <clears throat> Man, a few words, I like it. And the other, the other two? Is his mouth crying? Oh, of course, this is... <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I know, this it's almost Oscar. like everyone forgets they're there. We should really get rid of them at some point. No! I love them. This is Oscar. No. I, I'm good with that. And oh, his right, brother, Orvar. They kind of nod politely. At least send them back to their family. Don't kill them. What an oh, absolute good. pleasure to meet all of you. I trust you've all taken care of my daughter. She's always been hard to contain with what was her emotional is, uh, outbursts more than capable of taking care of herself so and she seems rather rational yeah i, I would say she's been taking care of us <laughs> am i right guys am i right <laughs> he, he chuckles mm. <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure you know sir that's gindry i believe it was um that is some what? very interesting wall paint on your cheeks Tell me, is there some sort of meaning behind the choice, or is it just there to add to your charm? Oh, yes, absolutely, yes. <laughs> Which is it? What the fuck? <laughs> Which is it? I'm curious. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Both it is very, very interesting. <laughs> so... He kind of <laughs> leans back and, um, uh, sorry, let me bring, uh, there it is. Nifrom, your friends have such good fashion choices, um. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> so, uh, sir. Thank you, man. I forgot, I forgot who was talking. I've been playing too much with <laughs> different names. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to turn into oh, a southern person well, just you, so I don't get killed Tarnation. by this guy. Cheek and just walks away. Cheek. Cheek. Well, um, so, you know, my, my friend choices are not reliant upon appearances, but rather skill. As they should be. As they should be. Of course, yes. I taught you well. Oh, yes. At which point uh, you hear a bell ring and the door that um, Selby came out of opens up and a train of servants come in with lots and lots and lots mm. of food. They start Yay. laying them all on the table. Um, they start filling your glasses with wine um, and uh, grabbing um, like... What are they filling it with? Uh, wine. Wine. No, I mean, what are they filling? What are they oh, using? Oh, there's decanters. With? There's very okay. fancy glass decanters. Mm -hmm. Uh... Fill in your glasses. Kind of. Hands it over to you. Got of her. course. Sir. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> At which point, Einar kind of chuckles. <laughs> A man who likes his drink. I love it. Yes. 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 <laughs> and Red, so, we're going to drink. We're going to drink. And then we're going to compete. Or it's going Is to there be fun. like a mixture of them? Um, of what? Wines? Of what? Yeah, red or white wine? Oh, both. an entire selection. And each servant kind of, like, gestures to you which you would like. <laughs> oh my Oh my god. <laughs> Marcus's oh. nipples get Marcus, hard, I, but I they don't ding because he's not wearing I, armor. Yeah, I've never seen your nipples <laughs> like ding. before. Wow. Suddenly all the digging you guys hear uh, around Makes Marcus. Makes a lot more Makes sense. sense. <laughs> yup. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. What's your dad's name again? Einar. Einar. 
E I N. Oh, so it's Einar. It was Einar telling me about the drink. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. E I N A R. You know this. Uh, I see we brought out the um, Midgardian wine. Very fine. It's been um, stowed away for quite some time, so I'm sure it's aged very well. Hmm. Wonderful. And of course, what else for such fine guests? <sighs> hmm. Insight check. Give me an insight check. Nifrom with I'm advantage. I'm just focusing on trying not to shine too brightly. <laughs> uh, 19. I'm like, suppress, suppress. Nifrom, I am going <laughs> to <laughs> message you. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh oh. Um, I'm also going to mute myself in Discord, but I will narrate what I type. Um, one moment. So, Nifrom. These whispers have been brought to you by. <laughs> Your father is putting on an act. Of course, everyone's currently talking over me, but we'll just mute them for you folks. At. He is making subtle digs to your friends. You know that he enjoys making fun of people in front of their faces without them even realizing. This is his favorite thing. I'm trying to see if Gendry was uh, using the right forks. Yeah, only just I legit want to trade places with yeah. Marcus. And, 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 oh. and no matter what is happening next, yeah, I'm already that. like drinking. Okay, so cool. if it's poisoned or some shit, it's too so late I, for that. I'd very much like to <laughs> switch places with Marcus and then kind of nudge Nifrim. Anyways. Um, Nifrim, uh, how's it going? How, how are you holding up? Fantastic. Let's switch places. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and inside check right. on that one. Yeah, that go okay? for it. Okay, good. Uh, boogers, I got a boogers. 17. She is very, very, very clearly uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah. And total surprise to you, he knows all the forks and knives and he's using all the right ones. Marcus uh, is or yeah. Gendry is? No, Marcus. Oh, that's Wait. not a surprise. Oh, without even a check? That's crazy. Uh, I, I do that too. Um, Gendry, you would need a check. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a farmer and a soldier knows? Wow. Yeah. I never said well, how far uh, in the check. army I got. <laughs> check. Um, give me a, a an check. intelligence. A four wow, that's check. my Straight favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs> give me a deck saving throw. <laughs> also, that's I my have a rich favorite. family too. <laughs> I got a fourteen. It's not quite as rich. A fourteen? <laughs> um, oh you're pretty God. sure. You, you're pretty sure you know. Is it is it outside in or inside out? Shit. Hang on. You know what? I'm just looking. It, I'm just peeking. Mm. I, I'm looking at. I'm looking at Nifrim's. Yeah, uh, you, you're doing pretty good. You're able to kind of watch the others, and you realize, okay. oh, that's right. It's outside in. I knew that. Oh, but actually, all this stress, I realize, oh, that's right. I'm not gonna eat any of this stupid food. <laughs> you see, it doesn't matter what uh, utensil she has in her hand. She is white knuckling that shit. Mm hmm. Nifrim, is there anything we can do to help you? Oh, I'm white knuckling nope. the chicken nope. bone. Other than maybe just mm. shutting up. <laughs> Everything's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Um. Uh. So as this very large and varied, there are foods from literally all over the world. Some you guys recognize. Some most of you don't. I mean, there are things on this table some things on this table that none of you recognize, like different things. Um, I'm gonna try it all. Yeah. So you start digging in. All with his um, hands. Yeah. yeah. No forks. Oh my God. As <laughs> as you start that, uh, Einar kind of, like, uh, you hear Un chuckle. <laughs> and uh, you see Tarbin kind of like, glance at you with the fork in there and like, kind of he... Do it. He kind do of flips it, around the, the fork and starts stabbing food oh and gosh. eating it. <laughs> and uh, 
you hear Einar at the end of the table kind of... <laughs> I see you were hungry from your travels. You must have been through quite a lot. Please, regale us with your, your journeys of recent Nephrim and friends. Ah, uh, well, um... Marcus, Sorry, go ahead. real quick. You're, You're muted. muted. Marcus's voice once again. It's... We were there when the Jotun uh, activated. Oh, we're just going to go right there. At which Very point right you there. hear so many clanks <laughs> of <laughs> silverware <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm like, so when, so when I came home, my, and my family was murdered. <laughs> and everyone just... The table. Jesus Christ. The, Jesus. The table freezes. Mind you, this is like saying, oh yeah, I was in um I was in the 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 North Tower um during 9-11. Still too soon. Like, Still too at, soon. like five minutes Eesh. after it happened. If you notice anything more about Nifram, her Shoulders are up to her ears, like oh, you fuck. hear. You I hear. thought this would be a good way to read some. I, I, you hear. I even knew this was socially unacceptable. I'm like mid chicken leg. You hear Earth kind of choke, like <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally the entire table freezes, and the dwarf brothers kind of shoot looks to you. <laughs> how, how quiet is the room right now? Fairy! Uh, After a lot I of clinking. I grab my drink. <laughs> yeah. I, I used the I moment to like, to like pitch, pitch something I was pretending to be. I'm not even going to make you oh. roll because everyone is so distracted right oh, now. Oh, I'm shocked! Um, oh. Yes, yeah, uh, we were. We were, in fact, there. All, all of us were there when it happened. Your father kind of slowly looks up <laughs> to you and says, You were... you were at Ragnarok. Yes. That must have been so much. How it, dreadful. It, uh, Marcus, my man. Marcus? Uh, can I incite him? Anyone yeah, who wants to, that. at any point I, during I this conversation, incite, you guys yeah. can kind of. I feel like insight. I dropped that bomb because I want to see what you know how I feel people like reacted and. Ugh. Nifram yeah, Nif is so surprised at the mention, the early mention of Jotunfoder that she is not going to insight check that because she's still trying to fucking compose. You're a bit stunned. Uh, it's shut down, dude. Hmm. Yes. Marcus, yes, what'd you get? 18. 18. I'm gonna attempt it as well. Go ahead. Might as well. That is a 14. 14. So, Anyone else? Play. Good, are you no, good? I, 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 I got a 17. Okay. Oh, nice. Sidric, you, um, obviously, like you said, even you know that was yeah. socially abrupt a bit much and um <laughs> it got the proper reaction um yep. the reaction that you would expect at a proper table you haven't been to really any proper dinner before but even you would know this is a lot and this is the reaction that they would you would certainly expect and okay. as far as Einar and his comment afterwards, um, he he's shocked as everyone is, um, almost worried. Is um, he angry about Nephrim? Um, to to Cedric, he seems more worried and shocked. Marcus, um, pretty much the same. Everyone's kind of shocked. Um, Einar, it, there, there was kind of almost a flash of something, maybe anger, maybe worry, maybe it's just shock, but it quickly, he quickly recovered into um, worry and what would be expected. 
Yeah. You're not sure what it was, though. It was a lot, um, and very unexpected. It was actually <clears throat> just after our first job together, the four of us, and um, Oscar and Orvar happened to be there as well. Um, we were working for a very nice couple. We were we were more on the outskirts, though. It wasn't like we were in the middle of every, everything. <clears throat> I imagine so. Um. So you were. All right. Well, I'm very glad you're safe and back here where it's safe. And at this point, kind of Ragna finally recovers and says, "What? I can't believe it. I just can't believe it that." The, I'm just glad you're safe. Thank Hella. Ah, uh, yes, and um, just to uh, sort of break the ice on this topic, um, before we move further in the dinner conversation, I am only here for a short time. I do not plan to stay. More shock across, not quite as intense or sudden. <laughs> but more, so more shock time. across <laughs> the table. Just dropping bombs, huh? As you just hear Un say, What? But that's a story for next time. Oh. Mm. <laughs> that's too bad. I was gonna I was gonna start yeah, yeah. With, with Kari at this point. Drop the bomb that he's not really a noble. Ooh. <laughs> Marcus well, was gonna well. talk about his family being dead. Yep. I'm surprised uh, he didn't open with it. Dude, I legitimately yeah, I open with. I legitimately <laughs> prepared for him to open with it. <laughs> From um, I wanted Sam? to catch that. Yes. I wanted to catch that glimpse on the dude's face. No, I got I got your I got your uh <laughs> your your I, I I I'm picking up what you're laying down. I probably would do the same. I mean I have characters that would do the same. Sleep James would yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Um Exciting times! What do you guys think of uh, Nifrom's family? Uh, Kari seems cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar and Kari seem pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, they none of like, them are they ugly. They seem like a family. It's all a family. It's family, family stuff. I'm, I'm trying to see if we can do what we can to maybe make Nifrom feel less uh, crazy. <laughs> that wasn't a crazy noble. laugh or anything. It seems it's like noble. we're doing the opposite of helping. <laughs> no, yeah. no, it's, it's noble. called Bizarro helping. Yay! No, it's hey, I'm just being it's very myself. fun. I fully expected you guys to cause havoc in this household. Absolutely. I was very much looking forward to it, and yes. still am. The fucking There's still shenanigans so much. with the fucking clothes, and Cedric being like. Been... Mm. I'm surprised Marcus came to the rescue. I fully Dude, expected I, to be I walking in. That is, that is my least favorite um, thing Marcus has ever done. No, I, I am really genuinely up, trying Marcus. not to get us killed. <laughs> really fuck that one up, Marcus. I, I was under the assumption that Cedric would just rage break out of the fucking... And that was the plan. If, if, I went into the, the, if I went into the dining hall, I fully expected everyone to be dressed nicely. I was just going to be, oh, fuck this shit! And then I'd be shirtless for the rest of the dinner. Oh, that would have been so yeah, cute. I, I wanted to stop that because I figured we might get shot. Tarbin would probably love that shit. Or he... Or you'd break something along the way and then they'd kill us for Me that. Me and Tarbin so. are going to be friends. Mm-hmm. He digs it, man. Lots of fun stuff. Just getting started into a very interesting dinner party. Um, how you feeling, Emmy? How's Niff feeling? It's a lot. It's a lot. lot so much. It's so much. It's a lot of family, but it's also mm -hmm. a lot. It's a lot. Got a lot coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining. You're all freaking beautiful. Make sure to... Uh, Stay tuned, and uh, until next time, it's been so lovely to have you.
Scotland forever.